Welcome to the introduction of targeted sequencing using HiFi reads. By the end of this presentation, you will know how this application works and how you can apply it to your research. As an alternative to whole genome sequencing, you can also only target the regions of interest while still getting the same benefits of capturing the full spectrum of genetic variants. This will allow you to multiplex more samples, bringing down the cold cost per sample. There are different ways to enrich for regions of interest. The most commonly used is PCR, which is relatively straightforward and fast to do. It also does not require much input DNA, and the upfront cost is relatively low. However, if the regions are large or hard to amplify, this enrichment method might not be an option. For larger regions, probe-based capture is more suitable. These can enable capture of regions that are tens of megabases in size. However, they're more complex, slower, and have a much higher upfront cost. They're also not applicable for regions of the genome that are hard to amplify since they still use PCR. For regions that cannot be amplified using PCR, no amp targeted sequencing is a good option. This method uses the CRISPR-Cas9 system to enrich for the regions of interest without any amplification. This method is more complex and requires higher amounts of input DNA. However, it allows sequencing of previously inaccessible regions of the genome. The benefit of amplicon sequencing with HiFi reads over short resequencing and Sanger sequencing is that the reads are longer and therefore can be completely sequenced in one read, whereas the other methods require primer walking across the region and assembly after sequencing. Amplicons can be easily multiplexed using barcodes which can be added to the PCR primer, enabling pooling of samples early on in the library preparation process. Both samples and different targets can be pooled on the same smart cell for sequencing. Here is an example of a customer that has performed massively parallel sequencing by barcoding and pooling 10,000 amplicons. They compared the results to Sanger sequencing and found that the accuracy would not, was not only comparable, but HiFi sequencing provided more complete coverage, especially for regions that are known to be difficult to sequence. They also concluded that HiFi sequencing was more cost effective than both Sanger and short resequencing, since the completeness of the data allowed them to generate less coverage. When regions of interest cannot be amplified using PCR, the no amp method can be applied. For this method, instead of gene editing, the CRISPR-Cas9 system has been modified to enrich for regions of interest. It can be used for any parts of the genome that are accessible to the CRISPR-Cas9 system. The first step is to extract the gDNA of the samples of interest. Next, the 5 prom and 3 prom ends are blocked in order to prevent ligation in future steps. Guide RNAs need to be designed for each end of the region of interest. Due to the long reads, there is a lot of flexibility in the design. But as a general recommendation, the total region should be around 4 to 6 KB in size, which means it often expands outside the region of interest. The protocol comes with 20 validated guide RNAs for various repeat expansion disorders. The guide RNAs will mark where the double-stranded cleavage will be made by the CRISPR-Cas9 complex. Only DNA fragments that contain the region of interest will now have a 5-prom and 3-prom ends that are not blocked. This means that the sequencing adapters can now only ligate to these and only these fragments will be sequenced. After sequencing, the HiFi data is analyzed in SmartLink 
and can also be visualized in different tools. Targeted sequencing methods with HiFi sequencing are not only efficient, but also cost effective. With one smart cell ADAM, you can multiplex up to 1,000 samples for 1 to 10 KB amplicons, driving down the cost to $1 to $2 per sample. For no amp targeted sequencing, you can multiplex 48 samples and 15 target regions in one smart cell ADAM, driving down the cost to $82 to $118 per sample, depending on the multiplexing level. To learn more on how to implement HiFi targeted sequencing to your research, please explore these sites further.